Let us remember, one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. This is a well-known quote from Malala Yousafzai, an 18-year-old children's activist and women's rights activist who was shot for what she believed in. As a young girl, Malala confronted the Taliban in Pakistan and demanded that girls like her should be allowed to have an education. She was shot in the head by a gunman from Taliban in 2012, but, but she survived. So, who is Malala? Like you can see on the picture. Yeah, on the page. Uh, she was born July 12, 1997, in a town in Pakistan called Mingor. Her hometown was, for the first few years of her lifetime, a popular tourist spot for, like, uh, and it was especially known for its summer festivals. But soon enough, Taliban tried to take control of her hometown. Um, like I said, she's a children and women's rights activist. From an early age, she, become, um, she became an elite believer in reverse education. And in early 2009, she began blogging for BBC on how it was to live under Taliban's threats. So, who is Malala really? I am many. I am the six million girls who is out of education. Um, her area is education for her and young girls. She attended school. She she attended a school that her father founded in her hometown. But soon enough, Taliban began attacking girls' school around the area. And in 2008, she had held a speech. And a quote from that speech is, How dare the Taliban take away my basic right to education? And she, she started writing the blog. Soon enough, her public platform started growing. She continued to speak about her rights and she was blogging on her blog, but with a different name. Her alias was Guli Makai. And um, in 2011, she got she was nominated for the International Children's Peace Prize. And the same year, she got uh, the Pakistan National Youth Peace Prize. And for believing in her rights and other girls' rights for education, the Taliban started sending her death threats. Uh, when she was 14, year, 14 years old, she learned that the Taliban had issued a death threat against her. Her family was frightened for the safety of her, but they believed that the Taliban would not harm a girl or a child. But on October 9, 2012, on her way from school, from school, a man boarded her school bus and demanded to know which girl was Malala. Uh, her friend's looks gave away her location, and soon enough after he found her, he started shooting. He hit her in the head, and the bullet hit the left side of her brain and traveled down her neck. Two other girls were injured in this accident. Uh, this shooting letter left her in a critical condition. She was first flown to a military hospital in Peshaw in Pakistan. Then after a while, she was transferred to Birmingham in England for future care. She remained in England until she was ready to start off her education. Her recovery in England, and, her had, and she had her recovery in England. She was flown to England, when she, and once she got to the hospital, uh, they took her out of medically induced coma. Even though she needed multiple surgeries, uh, including a repair of facial nerve that had made her, uh, that was for fixing her paralyzed left side. She had suffered no major brain damage. And in March 2013, she, <laughs> she was fully recovered and was able to attend a school in Birmingham, 
Birmingham and started her education. Soon after that, she got she was nominated in November 2013 for the Nobel Peace Prize, but she didn't win. However, in 2014, she was nominated again, and this time, along with it, the Indian children's activist, Kali Shaddai, she received the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, so, Malala Yousafzai, an 18-year-old children's and women's activist, was shot in the head for what she believed in. So, we ask the world leaders to unite and make education a top priority. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah.